Hi, my name's Eli, and this is my Papa T. Hello. I'm going to be interviewing him today, and this is going to be a few pretty strange questions, and I just hope you have an answer for most of them. I'll do my best. Okay, so the first question okay. is when you were a kid, what did you do for fun? For fun, we played outside. Uh, I played army. We built things with scrap wood. We built go karts uh, out of scrap wood and wheels that sometimes they would be different sizes, and the go kart would set sideways. And but we had we had fun, and we like I said, we played outside all day till till it got dark. Okay, so question number two, numero dos. How much did a gallon of milk cost? You know, I can't remember. I I think that it was probably, because I can remember someone saying that one day gasoline would cost as much as milk. And, uh, but then I think milk was less than a dollar a gallon. And gasoline though was about 35 or 40 cents a gallon. So, so not too expensive. No. Okay, so the next question is, what was your first movie you saw in a movie theater? Hmm, I, we didn't go to theaters. We went to a uh, bunch of drive-ins, drive-in movies. Yeah. But uh, the first time I, I think it was the first time I ever went to a movie theater, Mom and Dad took us to the Fox Theater to see a movie called With Six You Get Egg Roll with Brian Keith and Doris Day. And uh, that was my first, I think that was my first movie theater experience. Well, it was at the Fox Theater. So... All I understood out of that was you get an egg roll. You, with, with six. With six people, you get a free egg roll. That's what it was about. Oh, okay. Um, okay. How old were you whenever you were baptized? I'm going to say I, I it's hard to remember. Seven or eight. I was, uh, I was saved about the same time. Seven or eight and, and got baptized just shortly after. I was saved. That's really interesting. And it was in a church uh, baptismal pool in Atlanta where we lived in. Okay. What do you think was better 30 years ago than today? Thirty years ago. Well, uh, we, we've been married for almost 40 years. So, ten years, ten years after we got married, I guess I would just say that life in general was better. It was slower, you know. There, there wasn't as much to do, and uh, thirty years ago wasn't all that long ago. It, now it, it is to you, but to me, thirty years ago was not that long ago. Uh, so anyway, life was just slower and simpler. Uh, the older you get, and the more things you attain, and and the more things you buy, and the further in debt you get, <laughs> the more life becomes more and more complicated. Okay. Who was your favorite band or singer when you were a child? The Beatles. The Beatles. The Beatles. I like the Beatles. How often did you watch TV? I think I watch TV every day. We watched TV. Uh, we had to do our homework when we got home from school. We all had to do our homework. And then after our homework, we would go play. So there wasn't a lot of time, uh, especially during time of year when the days were long. By the time you got through playing, eating supper, uh, it was almost bedtime for kids. But we would watch maybe an hour of, of television 
in the after, late in the evening before we would go to bed. Okay. Okay. What was the first fast food restaurant you ate at? Burger King. Burger King. Uh, I don't remember. It was it was close to Moreland Avenue in Atlanta, and uh, and it was the first. I think that was the first fast food restaurant I I can remember eating at, and I remember my first Whopper when yeah. I when I was your age, or, or maybe a little younger than you. Uh, we all we got was just a hamburger, and my mom and dad they would get a Whopper. Yeah. And then I can remember when I was old enough that I got a Whopper. And it was a big deal. It was a big deal. That was the biggest hamburger I ever had saw. <laughs> and it was really good. Okay. What was your favorite book series? I have to say, I did not read very much. <laughs> I, uh, when I was your age, younger than you, younger than you, I... I just had a hard time with reading and uh, didn't enjoy it, wasn't very good at reading. And uh, then one summer, uh, my mom and dad got my second grade teacher to come and tutor me during the summer in reading. And I got then and became a better reader because of that summer of tutoring. But I've never been a, a big reader. Uh, are you saying when I was a kid or my favorite book series ever? Um. I'll go with Ever. Ever, it was uh, on, on CDs. I listened to the entire Left Behind series uh, uh, written by Tim LaHaye. And so it was several books. There were about 12 books in all. And I did listen to all those all the way through. That's very cool. Did you ever walk to school? No, never walked to school. I rode uh, the bus when I was uh, in, when we were in Atlanta, they called it grammar school, but I think now they call it elementary yeah. school. But uh, we we went to, uh, to to school in Atlanta, and it was, we rode a bus, and then when we, when we moved to Cleveland, uh, I had a cousin, uh, Buddy, and Buddy drove. So Buddy would let us ride to school with him until my, my sister got old enough to drive. So when we got to a certain age, we drove ourselves to school, but uh, we rode the bus when we were little. We all rode the bus. Okay. Who do you think was the public figure that influenced you the most? Hmm. You know, uh, I had, I don't know if he was a public, but he was a public figure to me. Yeah. Okay, he was uh, uh, one of the pastors at my church, and he was a very musical person. And he sang really well, and he played the piano, and I wanted to be like him. He was my hero. Yeah. And uh, so uh, I would say that his, his name was Marlon Thomas. And he was a public figure for me that was very influential to me. Okay. What was your first car? My first car was a... The, uh, the first car that I ever owned was a 1974 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. And uh, when I bought it, uh, it had been wrecked and the man had, that had, bought, had had it had redone it, and it was so pretty, and I would ride by it every day and see it in his yard, and I wanted it really bad. So uh, I had to get a job. I had to get a job so I could buy the car, but uh, that was my first, the first car that I owned. Now the first car I drove to school was a Dodge Coronet, and it was our family car, and then when mom and dad got a different car, it became my sister's car, and then when she got her own car, it became my car. And when I got my own car, it became my brother's car. But uh, the first car I owned myself is a 74 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Okay. 
And how much did they make you pay for that car? Three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars. This was in 1976, and it was two years old, and it had four thousand miles on it, and I gave I gave three thousand dollars for it. How much do you think that would be in today's money? Well, if you were to buy a car today that was two years old and that had 4,000 miles on it, uh, if, you, if, you, if it was a, a $25,000 car, it would still cost you probably about fifteen dollars to $18,000 to buy that car today. Okay. Used. I lost my place. Oh. If you could bring anyone from your childhood back to life, who would it be? Well, I guess there would be two people. Okay. Uh, and that would be uh, my, my granddaddy, Newt. Uh, that was my mother's father. And my, my, my daddy's mother, we called her Mamma, Mamma Christopher, and Granddaddy Newt. I would, I would love to spend more time with them. Wish I had more time with them. And the last question. What does our family do as a custom that was passed down to you? Well, when you, uh, at Christmas, at Christmas, we do a thing called Christmas gift. And the first one I remember doing it was my granny and granddaddy. And when you walked in the house uh, before Christmas, if it was, you know, on Christmas Eve, oh, on Christmas Eve when you would walk through the door, granny would say Christmas Eve gift. The first one to say that to another person on Christmas Eve would have to buy them a gift. You'd have to get a gift. So if I said to you, Christmas Eve gift, I'd Eli, you, you would have to buy me a gift. And I've had to do that several times. And, uh, and then they do the same thing on Christmas Day. So now Christmas in our Day. family, it's a it's a it's a, a race to see who does it first. And I will usually do it to my dad, and I will wait until midnight the night before Christmas Eve, uh -huh. and at twelve. Oh, one at night, I'll call my daddy and get him out of bed, and when he answers the phone, I will say, Christmas Eve gift. So I got him. Yeah. And so that's our tradition. And you've done that to me before. Oh, yes. I've done that to try to get all my family. And I try to get you, but this, you get me. I usually, at that time of year, I answer the phone, Christmas Eve gift, <laughs> so you can't get me. Thank you for answering these questions. Thank you. I've enjoyed it. Well, I've enjoyed asking you the questions and some of the answers I didn't know. I didn't know half of your answers, really. So, that was really interesting. Um, thanks for watching this. And, well, bye!